I'm Amy Singler with American Rivers and the Nature Conservancy. And I'm Hardy McCollum with the Silvio Conti National Fish and Wildlife Refuge, part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And we're here on a beautiful spring day uh, in Chester, Massachusetts. This is Kinney Brook, and we're just upstream of where we're working with a number of different partners to remove a small dam. You can see the dam downstream. The flashboards have been removed, so um, what was a five to six foot deep impoundment has actually been drawn down already. Um, this is in preparation for, for what we hope to be is a full dam removal um, in the coming months. One of the reasons we like to work on projects like this um, is it's a great way to restore native cold water habitat. Um, these kinds of small streams are important nursery and rearing habitat for a lot of our native and resident cold water species like brook trout. Um, and in areas where we're able to get migratory species up, up this far, these kinds of streams can be important for, for other uh, migratory species as well. One of the really key components on this project is that we're working not only with a number of different nonprofit conservation organizations, but we're also working with a local landowner that, that owns the dam. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service works with uh, private landowners that want to do habitat restoration um, and improvements all within their on their private land. And so this owner is interested in removing the dam, getting things you know taken care of to you know get re remove what was essentially an old bass pond um, and make this a nice trout stream again. And if you look upstream, you can see this large cobble bar on river left that was all underwater. You can see how the river has started to scour out a natural stream bed, and we have this cobble bar here on the left. Now, over the course of restoration, as we remove the dam and we see natural flows through here, what we'll get is this cobble bar will revegetate with, with native shrubs and other native plants. Something else that's neat about this project is that because we were able to draw down the dam level already, what was um, in here were uh, more pond-like species, and when some of our partners did some macro invertebrate testing several months ago, they, they were finding um, midges and other kinds of uh, species that like pond habitat. But here today, looking under some rocks, we're already seeing um, caddisfly, larvae, and other kind of cold water um, native trout stream type species. And that's really exciting because what it means is the river is already starting to restore itself. Hi, my name is Colin Lawson from Trout Unlimited, and I am the New England Culver Project Coordinator. And I'm Carrie Banks, I'm with the Division of Ecological Restoration in the Master Park and Fishing Game. I'm here to talk about a project that we're doing on Kinney Brook in Chester, Massachusetts. And right now we're on the Stunk Brook, um, which is a, a small tributary to Kinney Brook. And we're here to look at the restoration that we're going to be doing over the next couple years to replace this undersized culvert. We will be working with a group of partners, uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, Mass Riverways, and uh, American Rivers to do this restoration project over the next couple years. And as an example on Skunk Brook here, this is a culvert that was washed out uh, completely during Hurricane Irene. And this is one of the areas that we've selected to work. We're focusing on a watershed scale restoration project where we have two culverts and one dam that we're removing. And uh, this particular culvert is about a mile and a half upstream of the dam. And the plan here is to remove this culvert and put in um, a natural substrate bottom within a arched culvert. Um, it will give us the full bankful width that we're looking for to allow the appropriate sediment and hydrologic transport through that crossing. And uh, once we're finished, it will mimic both the up and downstream channels that we're looking to restore. This project here on Stone Brook is a great example of the nexus between our ecological benefits that we're going to achieve here by replacing this crossing to meet the Massachusetts Stream Crossing Standards and allowing for fish passage through this crossing, as well as um, the nexus with public safety, where this crossing is washed out, has a history of washing out um, because of its undersized nature, as well as land protection, because we're surrounded here by mass division of fisheries and wildlife property. Um, so this project really 
pulls together all these great uh, initiatives here that we're looking at the ecological benefits, the public benefits, and the restoration and protection benefits along Kinney Brook. Thank you.